Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video on this channel. Uh, I do apologize for that. I am currently uh, working my way through some dramas that I'm going to review. But uh, I recently just got done watching the South Korean film A Company Man. And I wanted to do a review on this. And I'm just going to say right off the bat, I really did enjoy it. Now, this movie has been out in South Korea since 2012. And they, I think they just now released it in like American stores, like big name stores like Best Buy, uh, Target, Walmart, which is great. Because it shows that now this is becoming a more, uh, more of an interest in bringing over... Korean cinema to America because I really hate having to I don't know just kind of a side rant I really hate having to search for this stuff online and look at it on stream sites where like you'll get like bad subs or the video won't load or you have to search for it like on a video uh, site to order it in I don't know I really don't trust a lot of those sites so the fact that it was released I was like yeah I gotta buy this um, and I really, really like the movie. I really enjoyed it. And uh, let me get to the basic premise and plot. Now, it stars Soji Sub, who I'm a big fan of. Great actor. Uh, I've seen him in a lot of stuff, and he just knocks it out of the park all the time. Uh, definitely one of the best actors I've seen, uh, just period. And the premise is... His his character basically works for a company that's a front for assassins slash contract killers and stuff like that. And I really like that idea a lot. And I really like how they present it in this film. It almost has like a Jason Bourne slash James Bond slash Mission Impossible feel to it. But unlike those films, the story has a very subtle and somber tone to it much like the main character who is also very reserved he's very quiet shy and I like that a lot um, a lot of the story is I mean and this movie almost feels like a silent film almost it, it, it kind of um, feels like that and I like that a lot um, maybe that's not for everybody but I really dig stuff like that when they do it in cinema especially in modern times where a lot of the stories and stuff like that are told through a bunch of like witty dialogue and comedy and stuff like that. But here, it's very, you know, it's just very, very somber and very, very um, subtle. And I enjoyed that a lot about the tone of the film. Another thing I really like is the, um, just the film just looks really, really good. Like the camera work is amazing in here. Uh, it's just it's a vis it's a visceral visual experience like the uh, box set says and you know the scenery and everything um, the set pieces and the location shots and just everything just looks good it's a well made and well um, it, it, it's a film you'll enjoy looking at and it's a like I said, it's a well-paced movie. It's it's not slow at all, at least in my opinion. I don't think it's slow. I think the flow of the film is perfect and pitch, you know, it's pitch perfect and it just, you know, you when you're watching this movie, you're not going to be bored with it. If you're into this type of thing, you're really going to be into it and it's really going to be engaging and um, it's going to keep you on your toes too because... The action scenes, like this is an action movie, but the action scenes when they do happen are very epic and kind of grand. But it's also done in a way where like a lot of the characters would be fighting in like uh, like buildings and closed areas and uh, confined places. And I like that a lot. It, it, it really complements the film. Uh, now, what I find interesting about the main character... Uh, is that we really don't get much of a backstory on him and why he decided to join this uh, fraternity because he doesn't like his job like he doesn't uh, the, present, the film presents the whole thing is that he 
hates his job. He doesn't like the people he works with, and he doesn't like the idea of murder. But he's also very ambitious, and he's very, very determined to get to the top of this place, of this fraternity. And I find that interesting. I mean, we get some backstory on his character, but not enough to say why he would join this type of job, you know. Because, like I said, he doesn't like it. But I think the idea is that the reason he joined is because he really doesn't have a choice. Because he might have been an orphan, and, you know, he was trying to make his way up in the world, trying to make some money. And he wanted to do it in a quick fashion. And these contract killings probably bring in a lot of money for him. So that's probably a reason why he joined. Or, I don't know, maybe he does like killing. Maybe he does like murder uh, kind of deep down. And he wanted to kind of express that in this, in this job. But I really like that idea that they kind of left it up in the air. It's kind of ambiguous as to why he joined. Uh, this fraternity the there are other things going on in this movie like there's a love story going on like there's like some you know uh, friendships going on in here and things like that and I really like that a lot too because the movie doesn't overload us with like too many plot points and too many like side stories like it sticks to the main story and it goes with that but the other characters are like important like he develops a relationship with a woman who used to be a singer and like her son joined a fraternity too and you know there's a whole thing with him going on and I, I thought that was really really uh, good the way they presented that and I like the ending a lot like I said Korean cinema is very very interesting in that, in, in that their endings are just kind of open you know uh, we don't know if the character lives or dies but we do know that it's not a happy ending I will say that and uh, I just think that the film is really really interesting I don't want to give away too much like I don't want to spoil the film I think if if you like stuff like Jason Bourne James Bond Mission Impossible secret agent stuff and and you know you know assassin movies and, and stuff like that I think you're really gonna like this film a lot it's really uh, I think it's a really really awesome film and like there is an OST but the music in here is very very subtle too like there's not a lot of scores over this over the uh, scenes and whatnot like it's just you know it's just it, it feels real in a way but it's also kind of a heightened uh, obviously a heightened reality and I think that's really interesting as well. But yeah, it it just the idea of this I thought was really neat. And you know, if we didn't get that ending, I would say I would definitely like to see like a sequel or something like that. Like if you like Iris or Athena's Athena Goddess of War, I think you definitely should check this out. It has that feel to it, you know, but it's much more subtle and much more reserved than those films I mean than those like dramas are so I'll leave the video off I think the acting oh I'm gonna talk about the acting the acting in here is really good Soji Sub like I said is a great actor everybody does a good job with the acting part uh, there isn't a, a person in here who I think was I don't know, underperforming or something like that. Everybody brought their A game to this movie and uh you really get to get an understanding of every character through uh the good acting that's going on through this movie. Um So I'm gonna give the film like a solid I I give it a ten out of ten. Like I really can't think of anything that bothered me with this film. Um at all really I just enjoyed it the whole way through so I'll leave the video off and I'm out peace <laughs>